Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to day 24 of the 30 Days of Transformations. I am Katie and today we are talking about gratitude. If you don't know what the 30 Days of Transformations is, it is simply me coming on here for 30 days and talking about a transformation I've gone through during my own body love journey. Um, and then each day I give you one small tip, one small action step that you can do to help facilitate the same transformation in your life. So today, like I said, today is gratitude. Gratitude is one of my favorite things. I talk about it all the time. I think it is amazing. It's amazing. Um, the fact is I never used to be aware of it. Okay, so gratitude is not something that I grew up with. Um, you know, as a child, as a teenager in my 20s, it just wasn't a thing. It was, I was never conscious of, not that I wasn't grateful, but I was never conscious of being grateful. I didn't have any sort of gratitude practice. Um, so this whole idea of having a daily gratitude practice was something that was really interesting for me. So it was a few years ago that I started and I began, I started slow. I started with just saying, you know, I'm grateful for every day. I would write down two things that I'm grateful for. And I was very intermittent, like very hit and miss. Sometimes I would do it. Sometimes I wouldn't, I would skip it for months at a time. I was all over the place. Um, and then slowly I began to do it more and more. And then I was up to three things today. And now I've transitioned every single day. I write down 10 things I'm grateful for. And then twice a month I sit down and have like a gratitude binge and write 50 things that I'm grateful for. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what I'm grateful for in a moment. But what I really want to, you know, one thing that's really important to know is that you cannot be negative. You can't be self-loathing. You can't be hating on your body. You can't be hating on yourself. You can't feel ashamed or guilty and feel grateful, right? Like those things cannot exist within you at the same time. It's not possible. Yes, we're complicated. Yes, we're capable of feeling a hell of a lot of stuff at once. Not that. You cannot feel really grateful and really negative at the same time one cancels each other out and it's important to recognize that you have the power to choose that's a really challenging thing for many people to understand um but once you get it once you realize that you can choose to be grateful or you can choose to be shitty and negative and feel awful um somehow the choice to feel good kind of becomes easier when you focus the, the another awesome thing is when you focus on gratitude so when you begin this practice of feeling grateful, you begin to see more and more and more things that you're grateful for, okay? So it might start out that you're just like, I'm grateful for the roof over my head and my family. And maybe I'm grateful for my dinner or my coffee or my phone that I'm watching this on right now or like indoor plumbing or whatever, right? Like you, like it starts out being really random. And as you, come into a practice of focusing on what you're grateful for every single day, you start seeing more and more and more things that you're grateful for, which is one, one reason my practice has gone from two to three to 10, right? Because it's a lot easier for me to tap into that gratitude now than it used to be. And this, this power of growing your gratitude, this is why I include gratitude in almost everything that I teach, all of my programs, all of my one-on-one -on -one coaching, it's everywhere. I talk about it all the time because it really seriously is a game changer. And when we're talking about loving our bodies, right? This is the 30 days of transformations. We're talking about body love. We're talking about self-acceptance. When we're talking about gratitude specifically in that way, one of my favorite things to do is basically put like a little rule book, put, put a little rule next, next to your gratitude. So every day I have a little gratitude journal and you know i write down things that i'm grateful for and i do it at the same time each day i do it every morning it's part of like my morning um ritual my morning mindset routine kind of as i get going for the day and when i was doing two things a day it was random when i was doing three things a day one of my rules was that one of those things had to be about my body Okay, this was really during my evolution, my journey back at the beginning when I was learning to accept myself for who I am. So every day I would intentionally find one thing about my body that I was grateful for. Now that some days that was simply like 
I have, I can see, my eyes work, I have a voice, my heart is beating inside of my chest, right? Sometimes it's the really obvious stuff, um, but then over time you start being grateful for other things and it comes out of nowhere. Like I remember one day somebody asked me, I was doing a workshop with a bunch of kids, it was a bunch of girls, and they were all, we were talking about gratitude and they were all kind of weird and they were having a hard time understanding. And I said, I'm grateful for my bum because it's padding when I sit down. It makes it comfortable for me when I sit. And it kind of broke the ice for them a little bit, but it also really made me realize that's true. Like I don't hate my butt anymore and I used to. I'm grateful for it. Just because I don't necessarily love how it looks every day doesn't mean I'm not grateful for what it does, right? There is a difference between being grateful for how something looks and what something does. Right? Like your heart keeps you alive. Your lungs breathing keep you alive. You don't know what your lungs look like. It doesn't matter what your lungs look like or your heart, but you're grateful for them. So really gratitude is a simple thing. Oh, I just wanted to say too, now that I'm doing 10 things a day, two of those things are about my body. It's really important. It's, it's getting more and more and it's way easier than it used to be. So gratitude really is a simple thing, costs zero dollars, takes one minute a day, that can have really big, a really big impact. It can make a lot of changes in your life. So if you don't have a gratitude practice at all, I really wanna encourage you to get started. This can be as easy as grabbing um, a cheap little journal and every single day writing down a couple of things that you're grateful for. And if you are, um, you know, still learning to love your body, learning to accept yourself, you're still on this journey, like most people, then I would really encourage you to kind of create that rule for yourself. Like every day, I have to write down something that I'm grateful for about my body or myself or my personality or whatever it is. Um, and that is your homework for today. So that's really what I wanna send you away with is every day, and you know, we're coming up to the holidays. This is a stressful time of year. This is the perfect time of year to get started on the gratitude practice, okay? So if from now, if you're watching this in real time, of course, if from now until the end of the month, you know, the next 10 days or so, if you can commit to every single day writing down at least three things you're grateful for every day, that's a lot of gratitude, right? If you did that for 10 days, three things a day, that's 30 things. And then every once in a while, you just flip back through the pages and you look at all these things you're grateful for. And again, it solidifies that within your brain. It creates that cycle of being, being grateful, seeing more things you're grateful for, feeling more grateful. And it's a really beautiful thing that builds upon itself. So I really just wanna encourage you to do that. This played a massive part in my own journey. Like I said, I still do this. Um, in fact, to do it more now than I used to, and it's continuing to help me. And, you know, both in my body image journey um, with, you know, family stuff and relationship stuff and just with life in general and business stuff and, you know, work and whatever, it can really make a difference. So I want to encourage you to give it a try. All right, that's it for us for today. I'm off. Have a good one. See you soon.